Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Veera Patil. Usual news with unusual insights. Let's talk about one of the hottest topics today that is chat GPT. What is chat GPT? It is this amazing black box which can answer all your questions. You can have a conversation with chat GPT and chat GPT comes up with really smart answers and can stun you. What is behind this magic black box? It is basically a chat bot which was designed with a lot of test data. Apparently, ChatGPT was one of the most expensive projects undertaken and every day it is several hundred thousand dollars in training expense and millions of dollars in just maintaining the data sets and training the models. So this is a very expensive effort. OpenAI took, took up three to four years ago and some of the biggest names like Sam Altman, Elon Musk were uh, all involved in open AI project backing chat GPT. The thing is chat GPT is able to clear exams and test question papers for students. It is also able to generate answers uh, for an interview and generate code which works. So basically, if you are a graduate student, you can find a job using answers from ChatGPT and get through your interviews. If you're a student without studying much with basic common sense, you can get through the exam because ChatGPT cleared law exams. It cleared uh, medical school board exams. It is able to clear a lot of Q&A style questions. And even if you twist the question, it is able to intelligently interpret the question. ChatGPT can write stories, it can compose music. A lot of people, especially Gen Z music composers, are using help from ChatGPT. It seems ChatGPT was also hired by a lawyer to make arguments for a case, but ChatGPT failed because a lot of factual errors were made. In fact, I also used ChatGPT to ask questions and inquire pricing of certain products and product lines. I did not get a convincing answer by ChatGPT. There are also some questions I asked ChatGPT deliberately about politics, uh, about a war between countries, about certain leaders. ChatGPT is not very good in giving political answers. Also, there is a very clear bias in ChatGPT. If you try to ask who is responsible for the COVID-19 uh, uh, fiasco and what was the uh, who was responsible for this, what is the source and origin of it, ChatGPT does not have a straightforward answer. So, guys, ChatGPT is definitely a tool where you can ask super specific factual questions. You can ask coding type questions. It's a very logical language model which thinks through certain data sets on which it has been trained but if it was so easy to create something like chat gpt why isn't google search which is already such a big company who's got tons of data not already released chat gpt like search engine it is because it comes with a huge responsibility a huge uh, validation model which i don't know if chat gpt is owning up they have human in the loop training which is kind of novel most uh, machine learning models are trained only by machines on data sets only humans are involved in preparing the data sets but in chat gpt humans are also involved in refining the model very deeply so it is an expensive expensive effort by open ai let's see if they sustain it but what do people like you and me look out for in chat gpt several billion dollars of investment has gone up in the chat gpt startup community so you guys if you're looking for investing in exciting space this is the space to look at even generative AI and uh, similar kind of AI startups have come up. There are also startups who are trying to uh, act like devil's advocate or police the chat GPT generated response and make sure that you can distinguish between response by humans or chat GPT. So guys, that is a very good startup space to invest in or to find a job in or you can look out to that space for exciting opportunities. With that, I hope you enjoyed this segment on ChatGPT. Always remember, these new technologies go through the hype cycle. There is always a bubble and there is a bust. So don't get too carried away by ChatGPT, but it is definitely something very big. It is uh, definitely a disruptive technology. But if you're investing, be careful, follow the trends, uh, do your due diligence and observe it smartly. And if you're a student, do something creative with it, uh, with it. learn the fundamentals and 
I feel in today's generation, if you are able to be hands-on, if you are able to learn something and unlearn it quickly, you are smart as well as educated. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this segment on ChatGPT. Leave your comments. Let me know if you think Google search is going to get killed by ChatGPT or Google search experiment apprentice bard is already on its way to compete with ChatGPT. Think about it and let me know in the comments. Thank you so much. This is bye from Veera Patel. See you next time with another exciting news segment.